Hello and welcome back to Granted Gardens. Today, Tyler came home with a surprise and we're gonna do some work in the new garden bed. Let's check it out. So Tyler came home today with some sand, dirt, and soil conditioning compost. We're gonna try and get it in the garden bed, see how far it goes, and see if we can get some of these kale in because they were not loving the buckets. So let's see how far we can get. So for this bed, if you remember, we had a few different kinds of kale and then some peppers. So we're gonna try and get them in um, and see if they all fit. Not too bad actually. That filled up nice. So I did some homework on my cucumbers and it looks like it is something called dewy blight um, that they're sick with. And all of them in this bed are sick and dying and I don't know that we're really gonna get anything from them, but I also learned that the longer you leave them in the bed, um, the more it infects your soil. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull them up. So in case you're wondering what dewy blight is, it's these yellow spots here that are on the cucumber leaves. Um, typically, what I was told is the top of the plant will be very green and healthy, but as you get down lower to the base of the plant, um, some leaves will dry out and die off and the base of the plant gets suggestively worse so that's pretty obvious. I'm really confident that that's the case. There are some things that you can buy to put on them right when it first starts to happen but at this point we're weeks in and the plant is obviously almost gone. Got it on some of my smaller ones too so I'm gonna just go ahead and pull them out. So these guys here we planted not too long ago. They do have some cucumbers coming in on it, but they're all very sick. So I think it's better for me to pull them and not infect the soil than for me to let them ride out. Now, while you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you get into the dirt well and you remove any leaves that may have fallen off of them as well and dried up. You don't want to leave those behind in the soil because if the leaves were infected, um, they can go back into your soil and make your soil sick. So you wanna make sure you pick up all the dead dry leaves as well. Now I will go ahead and take some of the smaller cucumbers that were growing on there and pick them off of these plants. Um, they can be pickled just as is, if they're very tiny. Um, so it's not a total waste. You can take the small stuff and pickle them. Um, but as far as the plants go, you wanna make sure that you dispose of them in somewhere safe. So we're gonna burn them. Um, but you don't want to put them in any kind of compost pile because again, they could infect your soil. So we're gonna go ahead and toss them on the burn pile. Oh, I missed it. Going all the way, huh? Yep. Back to Eden Garden. Thank you. 
Yeah, as Tyler was working on the new bed for the kale, we decided that we weren't going to put the peppers in that bed, which means that I just made space for the peppers in the bed that I cleared out the cucumbers in. And the kale has a new home. It's very pretty. Thank you all for watching. We'll keep you posted on the fall garden. Thanks for watching. I look forward to sharing more with you soon. Mm -hmm.